Hi guys and welcome to your September. Hello September 2020. This is going to be the what are they telling you 3 in 1 reading for the beautiful sign of Libra. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Hey Libra. Hi guys. Ooh, your energy has been a jump in. Hi Libra. I missed you guys. If you're new here with me, hello, hello. If you are returning, welcome back. If you're subscribed to the tribe and what's good, fam, bam. Hello to my members. All right. Woo, woo. You got a lot going on. Happy first day of Mars Retrograde. Please join me on channel two tonight. Um, I will be breaking that video down for you. If you're new here with me, hello, hello. If you are returning, welcome back again. Yeah. If you are subscribed to the tribe, I was good. Bam, bams, I got to say it again. Hey, guys, and hello to my members, you marvelous group of people. I missed you guys. Yes, I have been gone a couple of days, um, and I uh, uh, missed you every step of the way. Spirit told me not to work. I wasn't supposed to work, and the last couple of days was a whirlwind because me trying to just get out and get myself together and get my children together and get us on this plane. Any of you guys that have to travel with children that I feel for you, I'm going to say a prayer for you because in the middle of what's going on, it was not the easiest thing to do. So although I took my equipment, Spirit told me not to work and I left you guys an update of my vacation and the fact that I was out of town very late in the game. Normally, I am very transparent and <laughs> give you everything, but I am human, um, my own CEO. So bear with me and thank you guys for your patience. I know you are patiently waiting. Hell, I'm ready to get into the energy because there is a lot of changes internally going on with myself, as well as the people that I love and the people that I don't love. So I want to get back to you guys and figure out what's going on. I did manage to do a little bit of personal reading when I was out of town. And everybody is just going through. So we're going to see what's going on. Um, if you're new here with me, I'm going to go ahead and set this up. This is the what aren't they telling you again, three in one. That means we're going to be taking a look at what they're not telling you, the person that you're connected with when you clicked on this video. Okay. The love portion of this reading is serving as the what aren't they telling you is serving as the love portion. Okay. That's not right. Um, so we're going to do that. We're also going to do singles energy. Okay, that's going to be for the month, the singles energy. And then we're going to also do money, work, and career portion. Okay, I am going in right now with the marvelous truth. Last month, we did not get an oracle. I'm going to go in with an oracle. We're going to do, be doing the Hill and Fairies oracle. Um, this is one I used and I wanted to bring it back. So bear with me. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get into it. Everything that you need to know is below. Yes, we did exp extend the specials. Okay. So if you're looking to book a personal reading with me, the specials are below. They have been extended to December 31st, 2020. Also guys, please look out. Um, my schedule is going to possibly be changing. Um, and I'm going to be doing some morning readings for a limited time because we are in Mars retrograde. And I know some of you guys are going to be locking fisticuffs with people. So I'm going to be trying to give you extra support. Um, but everything you need is below. Last month's playlist, guys, on the three-in-one readings are also below. They will be uh, stamped by video, not necessarily um, the way that I do the regular videos when I give you the first card out. So you're going to have to watch it. Um, I will stamp when I'm doing this so you can go right into the reading. Okay. So we're going to go in with Marvelous Truth. And that came out first. Okay. First card out is Faith. Guys, please watch for your sun, moon, and rising. Okay. Of the person that you're connecting with. And put the pieces together. Mindfulness. Faith gives you an inner strength and a sense of balance and perspective of life. Um, and then the top of the deck is prayer. Um, there is a situation that's going to come up that is going to have you completely out of your element, Libra. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. And what popped over? Feeling safe. Look at that. Feeling safe. 
um, there is something that has got you completely off of your square, as they say. Um, something is going to rock you to the core. Okay, I am going to be again on channel two, letting you guys know tonight in this full. I'm sorry, in this first day of Mars retro. How it's going to be affecting each one of you, what it is, and all of that good stuff. So, um, the link won't be below because the video is not done yet. But please look out in the pinned comments, okay? There is something um, that is going to rock you and rock your inner strength. There's something that's probably, okay, hello. Not making you feel as safe as you should. Show me spirit. Um, and it's also a situation between you and your partner where you feel like you had to stand your ground. Okay. And then finally, we're going to get three moving forward fearlessly. So there is definitely some things and some decisions that you and your partner has to make. Um, and you're being guided to have faith right now. There is a element to this energy Libra that is reminding you to be mindful okay wow look at that eight of cups was in reverse although i didn't take it that's an interesting energy okay um eight of cups in reverse but i did not take it so feeling safe standing your ground and moving forward fearlessly um mars retro is gonna definitely have you taking a step back mars retro is going to have you Reevaluating things that need a little bit more work, okay? Something to do with your action. And all of this has a lot to do with it, okay? First card out is the star. You know, I like to see it in relationships, re in relationship readings. Hope, hill, and optimism, we do have four of pentacles. I see right now with that four of pentacles, what type of thought process we have. Show me spirit. Yes, we have four of cups in the heart of the matter. Oh, so yeah, I see that you've been on the fence about this. We do have the King of Swords, by the way, guys, because you guys did not get a what aren't they telling you last week. The time stamp below or the time frame below is the 1st through the 12th if you care about that. But remember, the dates are for me and the messages are for you. If it resonates, great. If it doesn't, allow it to skate, okay? We do have Nine of Wands. Top of the deck is Five of Cups and Ten of Cups. Well, I can tell you right now, looking at this and then very, very close is the Ten of Cups. I'm saying the King of Cups. I apologize. There is hope, hill, and optimism that is here. Someone is very hopeful that they can pick this up. First and foremost, you guys have been going back and forth. I know it's a should I stay, should I go type of thing with you, Libra. A lot of times you, you really do have your mind made up. What, they, what, what they're what they saying and what they're not telling you is that, you know, I'm looking at the star and when everything is crowned by that star energy, I know that they're aware that they kind of put you in a situation where now with the four of pentacles being the next card, they are aware that they put themselves in a situation where they let what they were holding on to guide them and down a path where now they've it's caused the roof. Let me explain. A four of pentacles type of energy is possessive, is controlling, and trying to control that narrative. They took the reins in this relationship and decided that they would chart the course. They would decide how what a relationship looked like. They would decide when you guys would move forward. They did that and they didn't take your consideration and they didn't take your consideration, Libra. So they realize and they're realizing they're very hopeful. Now, the temperance was where is it was very, very close um, in my deck. Temperance was um, underneath prayer. So I do feel like this person is attempting, and we will, of course, look at the majority of the clarifiers after the layers that I pulled today in the extended. Um, but they put you in a position. And right now they know that that cup, you're not focused on this cup. 
They're trying to give you this cup based upon where they put you. You're not necessarily interested right now. The decision that you have to make is there are some things that didn't make you feel safe. This particular feel safe. I will be reading it intuitively and not by the deck, the, the actual book. I feel like safe to open up, safe to make a commitment, safe to move forward. This erratic behavior, you know, there's been some communication issues here. There's been some stop go here. Um, you lost faith. You lost faith. Um, this person has been inconsiderate um, and broke up what could have been a good thing. Now, what they're not telling you is that they realize that they put you in this, this situation, but they have a little bit more stamina left. I really do believe that these cards I always tell you that the Oracle cards pertain to both of you. Well, Libra, again, they put you in a situation where their behavior was indicative of a feeling of not feeling safe, where the safe is not like they put your life in danger, but they put your heart in danger. They act in a way where you couldn't trust what the hell was going on based upon what they were doing. As a result of that, you stood your ground. And as a result of that, you are ready to move forward fearlessly. But these cards apply to them in the exact opposite of ways, right? So they now feel safe. He, you see, th this is what ends up happening when two people are not on the same page. Now they want to stand their ground and fight for this relationship because here's the nine of wands. Now they want to move forward fearlessly because now with this star energy crown in this reading, they're no longer sitting in a place where they're worried about what society says or their homeboy says or their homegirl says. Now, with near losing you or actually losing you, now they're ready. Okay? You better act like it. Um, they're very, very sad with the Five of Cups. They really are crying over spilled milk. You put some type of boundary up. Um, you let them know what it was, okay? I do feel like um, they they really feel like they can deal with you. They're in love with you now. Um, they could have possibly not shown this all the time, but they're definitely in love with you now. Let's go in with the romance, okay? Um, so we're going to move these up here, um, and you're going to probably be getting, um, that's the King of Cups, you're going to be getting the communication that is going to, oh, look at that. That's going to um, really cooperate with what's going on. I do feel like you put boundaries up with this King of Swords energy. But I also feel like they're coming to you with truth now. That's what I really feel like for you. Um, that they're coming to you with truth. Um, the communication has been lackluster. Um, I also want to show you this right here that was at the top of the deck for the Hill and Fairies, which is problem resolved. And that's exactly what they want to do. Interestingly enough, underneath that <laughs> was the, um, hold on, underneath that was the new opportunity card. So I think I broke it down so it could forever be broke, Libra. All right, we're going to go in and clarify the star for Libra, please. Clarify the star. The star is being clarified by love yourself first. Um, your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And a lot of times, I tell you this too, depending on what type of energy you're connecting with, sometimes when you're willing to choose yourself first, that makes you romantically attractive. Like I've had a couple of readings where um, I've told you guys in your personal sessions that you have to choose yourself. And when you make that first step, Libra, and disconnect and choose yourself first, they be like, people are not used to that, especially low vibrational people. Honeymoon. So they want this back on track, clarifying my four of pentacles. Um, you wanted everything with this person. For some of you, you looked at this person and this person was it. They didn't see it when you were ready to see it. They didn't see it and, and they it wasn't a reality for them. It wasn't achievable for them at that time. And so now they're coming back and they can see it now. They would like for you guys to go back to the beginning. I wish we can go back. 
Ooh, Vivian Green. Clarify Four of Cups. Deception. They wore a false self mask. Absolutely, they did. Um, and you knew that, which caused, like I said, I came into this read and saying that they put you here. They put you in a position. They pushed her back up against the wall and didn't think you would come out swinging, Libra. King of Swords here is being clarified by engagement. Ooh, we. So the truth of the matter is, is that, again, they do want this Ten of Cups. Um, and whatever they realize, Libra, you're it now, okay? Nine of Wands, they've been through hell. You guys have been through a lot, but they have a little bit more stamina here. And um, they want reconciliation. I told you. So uh, your keywords are love yourself first. Honeymoon, deception, engagement, and reconciliation. Um, this is my retreat card at the top of the deck. They want the mask to come off, okay? They want you guys back together. I'm going to go in with a sacred soulmate here to clarify the heart space for you. Just because that is the particular thing that they were wearing. They wore that false self mask and did not let you know. There was something that could have prevented them. Oh, here we go. Fragile heart is because they've been hurt in the past. You can be vulnerable and trust this connection. Your fragile heart is safe. This person that you're dealing with comes with um, baggage. Okay, we all come with baggage, but this person hit their heart. There was some type of waiting period or some type of trial that they put you through, Libra, to prove the love. And when you stepped up again, stood your ground, let them know that you were willing to lose them in order to be happy, although maybe you would be hurt. That's when they saw something. Something shifted when you stood up for yourself. Um, you, they, 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 they robbed you of your faith, but love will prevail. I do feel like for who I'm talking to, the set of Libras that I'm talking to, you love the person. You love this person, okay? Top of the deck is new patterns. Do things differently in order to bring health and vitality into your love life. And that is what I see. Oh, my ear, what is going on? That <laughs> is what I see is going on here. Again, um, we do have love yourself first, honeymoon, deception, engagement, and reconciliation. Um, I honestly feel like this person, we know what they want. I mean, I, I really do. I want to let you know that I see energy here. You know, I call it out and I see energy here of a person who wants to right their wrongs, who has all of the hope they want to heal. And they're very optimistic about the future with you. Okay. They are very, very sad that you guys are not together or that they have these new boundaries. Um, you answered their prayer. Okay. This was very, very much so nearby the temperance. So I'm going to give them um, the benefit of the doubt because, you know, temperance, the card of 14. I don't know about one, one plus five means to you, but we do have five here, which is the five of cups further confirming that they are upset and hurt, okay? I also want to let you know that this is fire energy. Mars is in retro. So with Mars being in retro, it might slow things down if you are one of those Libras that's hoping for reconciliation. I also want you to know um, that the energy of this particular car is also Jupiter. Um, and Jupiter is retro, but Jupiter will be going direct at the end of this month, okay? So, um it's, it's a 50-50 chance. It really depends on what's in this person's communication sector. But, you know, they may be slowing down if reconciliation is what you want. But I'm surprised that prayers and affirmation cards haven't, have not come out here because I'm feeling like they're praying. And they're not quite ready to show it all the way yet, Libra. But what actually is going on, honestly, is they want a reconciliation, but what they want is this with you. That's what they want. This is the engagement, and that's the truth that they have come to the conclusion of. They have deduced that you're the one for them, beautifuls. They have faith, and what they're going to be trying to do is put some mindful practices into play where they start acting like they want this relationship 
where they start putting things into place um, to further solve you guys' problems correctly, which will in turn bring new opportunities. Um, and I mean, these are cards that, I mean, I've shuffled and they're coming out, they're coming out. After that was higher ground. It's, it's really about changing the way that they think and raising their vibration to meet you, okay? So um, what I feel like they're not telling you um, is that they're doing the work. They're really doing the work. They know that they put you in a position where they made it almost impossible to love them. They made it near impossible to love them. And you tried and you tried. And when you finally got to the point where you had to choose yourself first and hurt your own self, Libra, and or like hurt yourself, like inflict pain upon your own heart to get to get away, and you set these these boundaries and and stood your ground. That's when everything changed for them. It activated. Oh my God, what am I doing? Is it really this serious? Like, why am I doing this? And that's where they messed up at. Okay. So like, share, and subscribe to The Marvelous Tribe. I missed you guys. If you're okay with that, I will see you in the next video. For everyone else, I will meet you in the extension. Um, and remember, guys, watch for your partner's sun, moon, rising, Venus. Watch all of them. And also, a lot of times when you're here watching for your cross-watcher, or you're the actual Libra, you don't read for the, you don't watch for the other person and cross watcher. You don't watch for yourself. You need to see if your sun, moon, and rising, those energies is, is, is speaking your voice. It are, are, of, of what is what I'm picking up on your voice to your person. You know, who would cross watch on your video instead of watching for theirs? Go watch yours. Although it's not telling it from a standpoint of what they're not telling you to, you, the, to your cross watcher, what it will do is I am speaking at that point for you. So you need to watch and see, you know, if it's resonating, take what resonates and leave the rest lovelies. I will see you guys um, in the next video. I missed you. We are back. Bye, Libra. Hi, guys, and welcome to, oh, to your... I was going to say February, September 2020. This is going to be the three and one. The what aren't they telling you three and one reading? This is the singles portion for single, single Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you are connecting with someone, that video, you've passed it. So go back there. And what I'm doing now is going in with the wisdom of the Oracle. This is going to be an actual structured reading. Um, and what we're doing now is going to pull an oracle card that's going to represent, all right, all that glitters. Here we go. That popped out. I don't know what the card, what the number 16 means to you, Libra. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus in your singles reading. Um, there is a situation that you're involved in for you single uh, Libras. And there is a theme of all that glitters. Now, intuitively, before I read this message to you, um, there's a situation that you're involved in and somebody is making promises to you, single Libras, um, presenting you with something that's so great, all that glitters, right? But that's letting you know that all that glitters is in gold. I'm letting you know intuitively looking at this particular card of 16, we, um, I look at the sum of it. So what does 16 mean to you single Libras? If it doesn't, then, you know, I examine the sum of one and six and we get seven, seven, um, a need to see beyond the superficial. Someone is in your face trying to desire to don a mask or dress up something to disguise its true nature. Remember one plus six is seven. The first card that came and popped into my head is the suite of sevens. And if we go and examine all of those numbers, let's talk about it. The seven of cups, it, it, it is also, you know, looking at this, it's all of um, choices, okay? 
the seven of cups. Some of you are experiencing an individual who is in your vicinity trying to make you think this is all about what they're doing as we examine all of these sevens. Seven of cups is not sure. They're focused on the options, knowing that all of those options are not viable, Libra. Seven of swords is even worse because they want you to think that these two swords that they have planted is all they want you to focus on, but really they running out the back door with the other five, okay? The seven of wands is a very defensive energy, standing your ground and holding your position. And then the seven of pentacles, you know, I'm feeling this, a person is really unsure. So let me know which one of those scenarios apply, but all of that is what we're dealing with right now with all that glitters. Um, and an overall message is, Learn to recognize um, the mask that people wear in the motive. So someone has a motive. Someone's trying to get you to see something. Um, chasing after every sparkly new thing. Um, the desire to don a mask or dress something up to disguise its true nature. That's what you may be dealing with, okay? Remember, this is the energy for the month. That is the situation in your single life right now. Um, maybe you're dating somebody. Okay, so that's going to serve as our oracle card and your message, your universal message. Now, let's go ahead and find out what the situation is that's in the heart here with this all that glitters. Are some of you guys thinking of giving somebody a chance? This person may not be all that they crack up to be. Clarify all that glitters, please, spirit. Ooh, we do you see what came out? Seven of swords. So the situation is, is if you were wondering whether this person is full of shit, then the answer is yes. Like I said, they have put down these two swords and they walking out the back door with the other seven. Um, wow, that's interesting. Okay, what's the challenge here? Oh my God. So the challenge is, is that they have already found someone. There is some, your intuition telling you that this person is already with someone else because they're presenting themselves, Libra, as if they are single and they're not. They're not. They're not. Oh. All right. So we have a couple cards, but the one that I touched is the two of pentacles. The two of pentacles is coming out and the guidance is to you is that they're juggling. What in the whole heck is going on? What is going on today? Oh my goodness. We're going to go into the focus here. What should you be focusing on? Someone is. We're going to go in with some clarifiers in a second. Okay, you should be, okay, thank you. You should be focusing on yourself. You should be focusing if you are in a situation where you're newly single. Um, someone maybe has been watching you. Someone has been stalking you on social media. Somebody has been trying to convince you. This feels very, hey, Libra, this is gold and glitter. I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. And you this and that and the third and that. No. No, that's not what this is. And I'm telling you right now, this could have been somebody that could have been watching you. This could have been someone that's liked you for a long time. This person is in a relationship and already got a thing going on, but they're trying to present themselves as if they are not single, okay? You should be focusing right now on yourself. You should be in a situation where you take a step down and quietly prepare for what Libra needs to do. If you're newly single, yes. If you've been single for a long time, you may have had good conversation with this person. Um, this person can speak. This person is charming. You could be connecting with fellow Libra, um, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius here with these swords in the heart. Um, but they're not being honest with you, okay? And your intuition is trying to speak to you here. But there's a part of you that likes the attention, of course, as you should, because you're cute or you're handsome. But something isn't isn't right here. So watch out for that in the month of September, okay? And then finally, we're going to go into an outcome. What's the outcome, spirit? Show me the outcome here, please. 
please look out for that. The outcome is the hangman. So you're going to choose to do absolutely nothing. And that's not a bad thing. Um, top of the deck is the lovers. Okay. So you, I suspect that maybe for some of you that you have already um, crossed that slippery slope with this person. You have been intimate with this person already. You have put yourself in a situation. Um, this lover's card, I believe, in the singles reading is the sex, is the intimacy. Um, the outcome of this situation, of course, is for you to do absolutely nothing. Um, when I say nothing, I don't mean it literally. Um, but in the way that I in, in a way I kind of do. So let me explain. Hey man is an energy where you're breaking old patterns. It's it's metamorphosis. It's actually upside down suspension it's doing nothing when it's time to do nothing um with the four of swords here in the focus the focus should be you being enlightened with this hang man and doing absolutely nothing um this person i feel like you have a connection with libra this person has come back I am not getting good energy from this particular person. You are crossing with the following energy. Uh, we have Capricorn, um, Virgo, and Taurus. We have a lot of swords here. We do have Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. We do have Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. What I am saying is that if you have been struggling with no, with, with your intuition um, because the conversation is off the chain, the intimacy is great, you've been knowing the person for a while, but your intuition is talking to you and like something is just not right, it's not right. You never question that little, that, that little voice that's inside of you that's telling you that it's some BS in the game, okay? That's exactly what it is. And this person has multiple lovers, all, and, and you may be one of them. For those of you who is dealing with this person and they're trying to lure you in and promise you, like I said, this person is stalking you, but they're juggling, okay? They're juggling. And um, the guidance here is to let you know that you could be calling them and you can't get through. There's something that they're not being transparent about, Libra, Okay. And I want you to understand that there is something that they're not being transparent about. Um, and I, you know, these are, you know, monthly snippets. So I can't go um, further than this without making this video extremely long. But again, you're being guided that all that glitters in the heart of the matter is being clarified by the seven of swords that was the seven and that just goes to show you that this person is not being honest look at the look on that person's face and so the situation is that this person is not being honest um so again when we go over to the challenge the challenge is is they can't be all the way there for you because they are already in something with someone else with this nine of cups. Um, someone, they already have their cake and they want their cake and they want to eat it too, okay? Um, and that's another thing that goes back to that deception, okay? And then what I also want you to know and looking at what's crowning this, when everything comes and trickles down from a seven of swords, that's not good. So when I'm looking at that and I see the guidance is being is telling you that there's juggling, that means that this person has this thing. And even if they're physically not with them, Libra, their heart is still there. There's some type of financial tie. There is a child. There is alimony, child support. There is something that Libra don't need to be uh, int intertwined in. Do you understand? So your focus, it should be yourself and just doing absolutely nothing but getting yourself back together. The outcome is trying to figure out what's the best thing for Libra because you could have already been coming off of something and then this person came in. For some of you guys, this is the ex. 
this person is the ex and they're trying to lure you back in for reconciliation. But whatever broke you guys up to begin with is still present. Do not fall for it, especially in this Mars and retro. OK, so that is what I'm telling you. That is your monthly. Wow. Singles guidance. Gee, for this month. Now we're going to go ahead and go in with your career spread. Wow, Libra. Let me know if that um if that resonated with you guys. Wow. Ooh. Jeez. Now we're gonna go into the work, career, and money portion of this reading. We're gonna do the same thing. It's gonna be a structured reading where I'm gonna be telling you what each card means. Okay. Please like, share, and subscribe to the tribe. Consider membership, please. All right, let's see what we have. Let's see what we have. One deck. Three readings. Show me. Oh, spirit. Show. Wow. You have the card of going the distance. Go the distance. Current financial situation. Go the distance. Um, the card of 47, that's 11. Have you guys been seeing 11, 11? Angel numbers. I don't know what four and seven means to you whole like that. We're going to break it down. Four plus seven is 11. Endurance, strength in the long haul. As it pertains, you've been feeling like you're wandering in the desert for ages and ages and nothing is happening. Okay? Your most precious dreams are not about instant gratification, but enduring prosperity, Libra. This is the time to think about the long term and engage in and continued action. You will experience momentum building as you translate the ebb and flow into slow and steady movement forward. Your efforts, okay, ideas and hard work now can lead you to greater riches than you can imagine. Stoke the fire so that an uninterrupted stream of energy is available to support you in all phases of the manifestation. Be assured that you're in the right place right now. You've been trying to get something off the road and, uh, and it's not happening. Um, if this is a career, maybe what's going on in the world right now. Um, I'm sorry. Yes, career. It stopped you into some type of higher education. It stopped something. OK, the current financial situation with this particular car is just meh. It's there. Money is flowing. Everything is at an even keel. What you want is more. What you want is more. You feel like you're missing something. You feel like you need to be experiencing something else. You feel like you're not being inspired and you're not being your best self. Regardless of whether you have been um, affected by what's going on in the world right now or not, maybe you are considered essential. There's still something in you where you feel like quitting. You feel like leaving. You don't feel like you're being um, um, hit creatively. You're just not happy. You're you're thrown off. Okay, so I feel like um, that's kind of where you are overall. Money is flowing for some of you guys. I don't see a intuitively right now. I don't see that there's been a block or a lack of funds, but something that you're wanting that you that the situation has kind of thrown you off and you're being guided to keep moving so whatever you're trying to manifest stay there okay money is flowing work is probably lackluster and your career probably had to be put on hold by some things let's go ahead and find out current financial situation is also going to clarify this clarify oh tell me the current financial situation and it is the four of cups yep you're not happy you're just kind of like man it's flowing is there fours are not necessarily bad numerology wise this is the year of four um if you're interested in libra your numerology um forecast for september I was going to try to kind of do that 
but I know that, you know, fours is about foundations. And so I don't believe that it's bad, but, necess but not necessarily a place where you're happy to be. Um, second place is going to be where new sources of in income could come from. Okay, new sources of income. Let's find out what you creatively want to do or what you can do. We do have the Ten of Wands. So create other sources of income is not going to come from anywhere right now because you're stressed out. Uh, that's, I believe, is the reason why you're being guided to go to distance. Now, some of you guys know what this wand is. So these wands represent the load that you're carrying. So the, the, the load that you're carrying is already too great of a load. Um, so... You, you, you want to do something else creatively, but you just don't think you can do it right now, okay? You just don't think you can do it right now. That is Aries energy, okay? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Let's talk about other opportunities to consider in card place number three. And yes, the Ace of Pentacles. So I am showing here that, hold on. Sorry, guys. I have to put things where they need to go. Here we go. There is a situation here that can bring you abundance. You're too stressed out to go for it. That's the reason why your overall universal message is being go the distance. There's going to be an opportunity that comes, but I'm going to let you know right now, Libra and Mars and Retro, it's going to slow down. If you have been waiting on a phone call, waiting on an approval, this energy is going to delay that for the next month. It sucks. Work is going to continue to go. Money is going to continue to be at an even kill. But some of you guys are waiting on an opportunity. And that opportunity is going to come. It's just not going to come when you want it to come. And I think that's another reason why you're being guided right now to go the distance. Let's talk about how the opportunities will benefit you in the fourth place, please. We know. OK, so strength. So by you waiting and experiencing this pain in the ass, <laughs> what is going to actually do Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus? Is turn your perspective around and evoke a change in you where it took you all the way down to the bottom. You can't advance after this. This is the lowest you can get. You advance automatically to the Ace of Wands. You already have the Ace of Pentacles. So it's coming, whatever it is. But understand that this retrograde is here to make us reevaluate our perspective, which is exactly what should be going on right here in this Four of Cups. Because the sources of income are coming. But right now, it's about you're not happy and necessarily in love with the way in which you are making your money. Some of you, and I'm feeling it and I'm seeing it, there's something that's coming. That's why you're being guided to stay put. The fifth and final is the outcome, and we are also going to infuse the bottom of the deck with that. Show me the outcome of this situation, Spirit. And we do have, this has been a reoccurring card for you, which is the Hangman. Um, that's been a popular card, but I can tell you that we do have the Wheel of Fortune. So whatever this is that you're waiting on, please stay put. Um, I am feeling like, in your singles life as well as in your work career and money, you're being guided that the best action is non-action. Do absolutely nothing but work on yourself. The beautiful part about yours is you got a major arcana, two of them. Not only when you emerge from this is your, um, is your mental capacity and your strength and perspective going to change, but money is coming in. So whatever you're waiting for, there's going to be a brand new, beautiful, abundant beginning and a change in your fortune, Libra. So I don't know who needed to hear that, but that is your message. Again, we have the Ace of Pentacles, the Four of Cups, Hangman, Strength card, 
Ten of Wands, Wheel of Fortune, and you're being guided to go the distance. That is has been your monthly money, work, and career, okay, for the month. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Um, congratulations on whatever this is, that approval that you're waiting for, um, that new house, that new car, Whatever is causing you anxiety right now, you're being guided to go the distance. That 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, that means that's the 11. 11, look that angel number up. That's going to bring you some abundance. When you see that on a clock, that means things are changing, okay? One plus one is two. Um, I, do, I didn't take it that way because I wanted to focus on the 11, but that is going to be a new opportunity for you regardless. Okay. So congratulations Libra. And I will see you next week when we do it again. For all of you guys who have watched this, this particular video, I will see you next month when we do it again for October. Bye Libra.